Hi, I'm Michelle Levet with ChildCareLand.com. Today I want to show you how to make your own sponge brushes that you can use for sponge painting. It's very simple. All you need to have are sponges. I just picked up these sponges. They're in different colors. But you want to make sure that they're just the whole thing is a whole sponge and not one side a sponge and the other side like a scrubber side. I just purchased these at Walmart. Um, I had a difficult time finding just straight edge um, sponges. They all seem to be this decorative curve type, but that doesn't really matter. You can cut the um, edges off. You also need to have paper clips. You can use plastic um, paper clips or you can use wood paper clips. Now, for your money, the wood paper clips are probably a better deal. You can get a big bag for about $2. Um, the plastic ones are a little bit more pricier and more hard to find unless you go to an educational supply store. But both work well. It's up to you what you would like to do. And to make your sponges, you would just cut out sponges, the sponge apart, and again you can just um, make a straight edge, cut that off if you want. And you do want to try to make these, make these as straight as possible um, for when the children are painting. You want a, a flatter, straight surface. And then you determine how big the, of the sponge you would like to use. I usually go uh, maybe one and a half inches times one and a half inches, but you can make them smaller, you can make them bigger whatever you like to do. And then when you have your sponges cut out, you would just attach them to, or attach a paper, um, a clothespin onto these, like so. And there's the handle for the children to hang on to, and then they would dip that in the paint. If you're gonna use a colored one, it would be the same thing. You just attach it to the sponge, like so. And then for the paint, the children would dip the sponge brushes into the paint. And then they would be able to sponge paint. Very easy. Um, I think much more economical than um, going out and buying sponge uh, brushes. And you can make these, again, different sizes and different colors that come in. So um, just a fun, fun idea. And it's good to have different kinds of... Um, tools to use in your art center besides just a normal paintbrush. You want different things that children can paint with besides paintbrushes and sponges are great. These are also good for stencils and I'll be using these in a, a future video where I show you about sponge painting stencils. So for creating your own sponge brushes, I'm Shelly Levette with ChildCareLand.com and thanks for watching.